Cool. Uh, my name is Sophia and I'm a visual artist based in Vienna. Today I'd like to speak about the work presented for Ryan Stash, the painting and sculpture series, The Cradle. Within this work, as within the entire artistic practice of mine, lies an ongoing fascination with the subject of the human body. And this project in particular exhibits the relationship between the medicine and the human body, where every sculptural element of the series uh, has a reference to various medical procedures. As well, the choice of the sculptural materials such as plaster and the use of body casting technique uh, refers to Gibbs application around our broken limbs. Uh, here it was actually a point of departure to think uh, about the body as a delicate vessel. In my artistic practice, the most significant to me is the process of making, uh, since the body casting technique implies the need uh, their contact with different people and the need to create in a way a safe space for growing relationship and openness. Looking at my work, uh, one cannot tell that it is figurative and only looking closer and noticing traces of skin and wrinkles on the surface, one can just grasp the firm presence of the human body. And since I almost leave uh, the cast untouched, the final image is an inverted image of the body as a negative imprint uh, of uh, different parts. For instance, as in this one, uh, which is the back, uh, is the constant stains back. Here, the inverted image has a certain interesting interplay with, uh, with the quality of bones, where the volume of those bones and muscles became a cavity. And it is almost impossible to grasp the full image of the body looking at the fragments, but by fragmenting and inverting the image of the body, I try to portray of, uh, what the body can become rather than what it is. The metal structures around them that hold and suspend this plaster shells, uh, they are usually made out of uh, a different plant material such as different stands, tripods, lamps, those that have engineered parts of uh, mobile joints that resemble to me an anatomy of bones and joints and uh, give the potentiality of the same ability. And um, by modifying them and reshaping them, uh, I try to, in a way, uh, evoke the image of, for instance, a spine bone growing into a tail. And here I'm drawn the most to a juxtaposition of meanings, images and qualities as, for instance, a fragile plaster against a robust quality, almost sterile metal around it.